Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. Good morning, 8.50 on this uh, Monday morning. Good to have you along in time for our monthly visit with the folks at Bristol Community College. And we're pleased to have along with us Bristol's Director of Multicultural Affairs, Robert DeLelu. And uh, he's uh, filling in a little bit for on this Monday for President uh, Douglas. We have temperatures, by the way, pretty much in the... Uh, in the 30s, a couple of flurries out there. And Robert, good morning. How are you? Good morning. How's your New Year? Good, good. How about yours? Pretty good, thank you. Probably quiet like everybody else is right <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, nice and easy. Everybody's well. Good, good to hear that. And uh, you uh beginning a brand new year. And, and then, of course, uh, uh, this is something we, uh, we, of course, think about Bristol Community College pretty much every year. I forget how many years it's been now, but the annual Martin Luther King Jr. Day of Service. And tell us a, a bit about that and, and, and how that uh, perhaps all came about and uh, and the mission of that event. Yes, yeah, certainly. Uh, the Martin Luther King uh, Breakfast and Day of Service has been around for uh, 21 years. This is our 21st uh, year doing it at Bristol. Um, back in 2000, it was an idea of of a way of bringing really um, not only the college community, but also our Bristol County community together and have a breakfast and, and celebrate the legacy and the life of um, Dr. Martin Luther King. And um, it's been a great event. Um, the attendance has been very, very good, and um, our community really loves uh, being part of it. So um, it's been an event that we really not just share with um, our members at our college, but we have people from outside the college working together and doing services and things for the community, which is just, um, have been excellent. Um, and, you know, and we want to continue doing it. All right, yeah, so it's been a wonderful program. And then, of course, as you just mentioned, it's been transformed into a day of service, uh, the, a new format. And why do you think this is, is so critical for our communities? Well, what's great about the day of service is to kind of really understand that the holiday um, yes, we want to celebrate the legacy of um, Dr. Martin Luther King, but the day of service is really an opportunity for people um, with different talents and different opportunities in our in our um, county to come together and, and show our younger generation how we can provide um, community service and do things to kind of help um, educate or help um, build and help, you know, just do things that are just really outside the box of, you know, of our just normal um, you know, service that, you know, maybe we have may have provided in the past, but, um, what it does is really kind of educates the, the younger generation as well as our adults on like some of the things that they may have not really noticed, um, about social justice, about, um, you know, community health, uh, you know, finances. We, we kind of bring all these different pieces together and, and it became a, you know, a pretty exciting event. And last year we had like over 350 people a time which we're, we're really proud of yeah it's been a it has been an outstanding program uh going back 21 years and uh and of course the tr transformation and and now into the day of service is a uh, is really something special now given the the pandemic uh what uh what can folks expect and how can folks get involved uh, i mean uh what's gonna will it be at the college and how do we do it safely and, and how do people get involved yeah, so unfortunately, the pandemic had different ideas um, than what you know than uh, than what we anticipated and expected for this year, um, and we didn't want our momentum to uh, dissipate. So what we did um, this year, our service will be an online service where we're able to communicate with our external community. But what we'll do is we are, we'll have a um, special opportunities that will be online at Bristol CC dot edu um, backslash mlk and what we will provide is resources and opportunities for our um, external community and our internal community at bristol as well to kind of take a look at what's happening and you know different services how you can get involved but we're also going to provide um, a keynote speaker who will speak about 
um, social justice and how and the importance of community service. So it'll be an event. Uh, start at nine o'clock from you know from nine to uh, ten o'clock, which would be a service which myself and others will speak. Um, President Douglas and others will should be um, part of this event. We'll speak during the day, and then from ten to eleven, we will have a couple workshops that will also be led by David E. Jones, who will be our keynote speaker um, for that day, um, and he'll speak about social justice and service opportunities. All right. Well, there's a there's a there's a nice uh, a nice uh, well planned event for our community, and uh, unfortunately, we've got it. You know, we got it. Go online, but that's uh, I guess the sign of the times. And you, uh, you, you, the most important thing is keep everybody safe. And I know the college is uh, the most important thing that they, uh, uh, when this whole pandemic started, uh, let's keep everybody safe. That's the important thing, and it really is. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's something we all you know, have to do at least a few more months before hopefully things begin to to open up a little bit. Yeah, absolutely, and I think safety is first, and this is what we have to look for: is making sure we protect our community at all costs. And but we'll still provide opportunities for us to get together, even though it might be virtually. At least we'll be together and celebrate such a great legacy, and and keep moving from there. Robert, thank you very much. How many years have you been at Bristol Community College? Um, all together, been I've been there twelve years. I uh, was a basketball coach and. Uh, just recently uh, uh, retired, and then, but I've been there 12 years, and um, so it's been a been a good ride. But you know, now I'm in my other role and enjoying it. All right, well, good for you. Congrats! Uh, uh, great to have you along. You ever consider maybe a, a job in radio? <laughs> You've got a <laughs> one. Have not, you have a wonderful. <laughs> you have a great voice. I just want to Thank point you. that out. And great to have you along. We appreciate it. Happy New Year, and stay safe, and thank you once again. All right. Thank you so much, and Happy New Year. All right. You take care.